Hey, this is Blake and welcome to this episode of the Gig Harbor Fly Show. We're gonna talk all about fishing tools. Okay, we're gonna start in the beginning, assuming you don't know anything about fishing tools. Two things that you absolutely need when you go out fly fishing is you need a way to cut the line and you need a way to unhook the fish. Right here is a pair of Dr. Slick scissor clamps and I love these things because not only can you take out the hook from a fish, but there's a scissor on here too that you can use to cut the line. Now some people like to have their own dedicated line cutting tool that are little nippers and sometimes you can wear those around a lanyard or have them on a retractor. So here's a retractor right here. Great one from Fish Pond. I love these, uh, this retractor, but I honestly don't use a lot of retractors. And part of that is because with these uh, tools, they have a ratchet on the, uh, the loops, and so they lock in place. So this right here, my favorite thing in the world of 2019, is the Patagonia Waiter Workstation. You can take your tool and you can just hook it onto, uh, onto the pack and it locks in place and it's not gonna go anywhere. I made this shift years ago up in Alaska, walking down a trail and my retractor got stuck. The tool got stuck on a, on a branch or something and, and it like ripped the whole retractor off. But I lost my way to, uh, to uh, cut my line, et cetera. And it made it difficult in the backcountry of Alaska that day. So, um, so I, I go with this. So there's even a little, um, there's a little spot here that will kind of keep your tool organized, but there's all sorts of different things you can do here on the waiter workstation. So this tool is amazing, cuts the line, uh, debarbs the fly, unhooks the fish, and you don't have to use the retractor if you don't want to. There's an eye cleaner tool on it as well if there's stuff in the eye of the hook. And I've used that screwdriver on the back to take a prop off of the back of a outboard, uh, an electric little motor to be able to untangle a fly line. So great tool. Now, if you're fishing in the salt water, you might need to have a little bit of a heavier duty plier than the Dr. Slick forceps. So uh, I love these pliers right here from Gerber, and these are a, a really heavy duty plier. They have a cutter built in that is reversible, so you can wear those suckers out and then turn them around and you got fresh ones. Um, there's a little trigger here that uh, helps you hold onto it. There's uh, a bungee attached with a uh, a sheath that has a belt loop on it so you could wear this on your belt your waiter belt if you want to for many of us that are kayak fishing um, we just take the a lot of times we'll take this part this carabiner clip and hook it into the kayak so we don't lose this thing over the side of um, over the side of the boat these guys are 70 bucks and there's a lot of other tools on the market that are very expensive but i feel like this one does uh, a great job one of the reasons why i really like it is the finish on it when your hands are wet, uh, they, they grip. Some of the really high-end uh, pliers that I see out in the fly fishing industry are slippery when wet. So I don't wanna drop my pliers. I wanna have a good grip, especially when I'm wrestling with a big saltwater fish. And this is the best tool to do it with. Okay, now this is a new tool from Gerber. And it's a very interesting tool because it's a multi-tool and uh, not very many people have seen this thing. So here's a couple of things that this thing does. Okay, so this tool, you can put in a pocket or on a pack with this little clip. The jaws to the scissors stay open slightly that you can use to quickly cut the line. You can also unlock the, the jaws and now you have a larger cutter. On the end of this tool, there's a little funnel and that is to feed the line through to thread the line on a hook. If you have a difficult time seeing the eye of the hook and putting the, the line through that, you, all you do is you grab, you grab the front of your hook with the, with the tool, take the line, you just push it through the tool in that funnel and it threads the fly for you and then you can tie your knot. At the other end of this tool, there's a little spike and that is used for cleaning out the eye of a hook. But the other thing that this can do is you can use this to grab the back of a large saltwater fly when you tie the line on and then the back of the tool rotates. So you can, you can twist your fly and use that as a knot tying tool as well. Okay, we're gonna jump back to trout fishing real quick to talk about some essentials. If you're trout fishing, you need to have two different types of floatant, and this is a gel-based uh, gel floatant that is great on CDC flies, um, and this helps your fly float. But here's the key with this. You always put this on the fly when it's dry. Once you've applied, you do not reapply. 
This powder is great once the fly has been gelled and then after you fished it and you need to refloat it, you hit it with the powder again. So you do this once, you do this multiple times. But what do you do? Do you just keep these in your pockets? Here's a couple things for you. From Fish Pond, they have a little tool that snaps onto your pack. It holds the floatant upside down so it's really easy to just get a quick little drop out of there. Um, they also make a larger, larger one for your shake. Um, but from Loon, Loon has a caddy that has um, the attachment for the bottom. So you can have your floatant on the bottom here and you can have your shake on the top and you can keep that on your pack and keep it accessible. Um, but at the minimum, I like just having the shake accessible. The gel doesn't necessarily have to be. Well, I hope that explanation of tools helps you with figuring out what you need on the water, whether you're fishing freshwater trout or fishing out in the saltwater for big game or even just sea run cutthroat trout. And we'll see you out on the water.